Okay, um, we're here. So uh, I've just uh, cobbled a few notes together in my notes. Um, so the problem is uh, when you work with databases that you are not you haven't written yourself and you're not familiar with, you sometimes find yourself in front of lists of uh, calculation fields, fields, global fields, auto enter calculations, and making head or tail of what you're looking at can be um, quite a nightmare to find out what is feeding into what, where are the input fields, uh, what's indexed, what's not indexed, what, what are the hidden calculations that I can't read here. Um, and I think you can, you can print them, but I've never I've never really been into this uh, PDF printing thing. But uh, uh, you can print stuff out. Yeah, there, but button down there. I've never used it myself. I should maybe start FileMaker. That might help. Um, yeah. So we don't want to go clicking around the uh, the the houses. Um, oh, there's a little uh, little thing there. Hold on. Uh, let me open another tool which we will be using. We will be using my um moment i need to put away this zoom thing which is in the way we will be using my toolbox fm workmate and fm checkmate um but before we start uh, i want to show you um this thing here this is yed uh it's a free um graph editor from yworks uh, I think I've got a little list here in my thing. So the solution to this problem is uh, doing directed, directed graphs with YED. So YED is the editor that we just saw. It's here um, from YWorks uh, who make um, a huge uh, graphing application and the YED editor is free. Okay, so we're gonna be using YED to display our graphs. Um, there's a uh, graph format called TGF, Trivial Graph Format. Um, and that's a format, you can look it up in Wikipedia, blah, blah, blah. Um, but basically it's a format um, similar to what we saw this morning. Uh, look, I'll just make a new file here and call it uh, um, node number one is uh, hello. Node number two is goodbye. Um, a pound sign or router or uh, what do we call it in English uh, is the separation between the nodes and the edges. And then we've got uh, edge one is connected with edge two. So that's it. That's that's the TGF format. Uh, if I save that, uh, I've got a on the desktop, I've got a little uh, thing here. Examples. We call it uh, simplest trivial graph format, simplest TGF, I'll save that. And then um, in YED, let's open that file. Okay, why can't I open it? Options? Ah, because I need to say, oops, all files and I've just sprung to a different layout here, simplest TGF. Okay, very, very, okay, what's that? We got a little blob in the middle of the screen with the word goodbye in it. Uh, and the reason for that is, is that the other, the other node is behind it because in this file, there's no position information. It's just nodes and edges. And so this editor comes with um, a whole bunch of layouting algorithms. Uh, so you can say how you want to lay them out. So let's lay them out hierarchically um, from left to right, uh, blah, blah, millions of options. And OK. Oh, there we go. Okay, so there we see um, it's made the two things from hello, little line to goodbye. So that's the basis of uh, trivial graph format. It's that easy. Um, and now it's a question of, okay, how can I use this to um, find out about fields? So I just made a, um, ba -da -ba -da, what did I just make? No, what do I want to do? I want to do recent, show recent. Uh, inventory. I've just made a sample file from the FileMaker um, samples. It's inventory. If I go in the date, okay, here we've got we've not got a lot of um, not got a lot of uh, calculations and stuff here. But if I copy that, I'll copy the copy the fields. That's all I'm going to do, and then I'm going to go to FM Workmate. Now, 
many of you have heard of it, use it, know it, hate it. Uh, FM Workmate is a tool for, uh, of mine and it's available on fmworkmate.com, but my website has moved host and lots of things are broken. So at the minute, I'm not sure you can download anything, but I will show you it and you can shout at me and I will eventually get around to fixing everything so you can use it. So FM Checkmate is the tool you want to use here. And that converts our um, fields into uh, the FM XML snippet XML. Um, now there's a very cool um, library of functions built into FM Checkmate called the FM Checkmate XSLT library. And here um, we've got hundreds of various uh, functions for um, playing around with uh, things you copy out of FileMaker. Uh, you can analyze, you can change, you can transform. And we want to analyze. We want to analyze fields and we want to create a field dependencies graph. Um, you can see I used it just a moment ago to test and now we're gonna do it again. Okay, so that has made, um, uh, you can see down here what it's made, F, F1. So the fields are being, um, the ID's got an F at the front, and then it's got a little bit of information about the field, including the name and a bit of information about what kind of field it is. Um, we're going to go into our little file here. Um, uh, no, hold on. Look, I've already put it here, so it's it's, the same as this other file, I'm going to call it inventory two. Uh, that's going to create that and it's going to automatically open it in yet. And I'm going to say, okay. So again, it makes a pile of nodes in the middle. Uh, doesn't help very much, but then we can say, oh, show me how they're related together and ping. Okay, nice. So without having to click in fields and look around, we've already got uh, a bunch of fields which aren't related in any way. They're uninteresting. You too. Um, and we've got these guys here, um, which uh, shows that the reorder level is fed into availability and units on hand is fed into availability in stock and the unit price goes into the stock field. Fantastic information, helps a hell of a lot um, if you want to find out what goes into what, but we can do better. That's because this is only based on trivial graph format where you can really only store um, the name, the node and the, the links. Um, and there's a uh, richer um, graph format, there's several of them. Uh, I use GraphML, another markup language, Wikipedia, GraphML, have a little look, you can read all about it, but don't read about it. Um, instead of doing that, uh, we're gonna come back to our XML here and use another transformation. Uh, in this transformation, um, it's called create field dependencies graph advanced. I made this one after the trivial one. Um, and if we do that, that's the same thing, but you can see down here in the little window that um, uh, we've got XML. It's an XML structure and there's more, much more data in there. Um, and so we're going to go into our little file again here. Uh, that was the FM starter file. And we're going to call that inventory, inventory graph ML. It's probably going to also open it. Yeah, look, it's opened it as well. And now this is, this is, um, oh, I don't know. Uh, I don't want to draw anything. Go away. This is, you know, even, even, even more boring. Uh, it's got even less information here, but that's because each of these nodes now has over here on the right, you can see uh, this is the properties view. This is all the properties of this node and you see there's data. So it's got a description and a label and I've stored what kind of node type, what kind of storage, uh, if it's auto index, what kind of data type, what kind of field type, a tool tip, et cetera, et cetera. All the information you want to know about this field. Now, the problem is if I now do a hierarchical thing, okay, we'll get the, uh, we'll get the kind of like same as before, but there's nothing in it. It's like, there's no information. And what YED offers is this thing. In the edit menu, you've got a properties mapper. Now this properties mapper, um, uh, you can define various um, rules to say, using the data in the data properties, set various uh, properties of the node. Um, 
And so I've got a default template, uh, which we can apply and do OK. And then suddenly everything's looking a little bit better. We've got colors, we've got shapes. Um, uh, and if we, uh, we got, we got, we got names. And if we uh, we'll do our hierarchical sort again, I'm going to go top to bottom. I'm going to go top to bottom. It looks a bit better. OK, so now we can say, see it even better. Now we can see that the unit price um, uh, is a number field, stored field. Um, stock values is a number field, unstored calculation. Um, modification timestamp is a, a M field. The, the, the abbreviations of the letters are the shortcut keys. So you do command M to get the timestamp. And so M denotes uh, a timestamp field. Um, stored, oh, it's an output field. And it's an output field um, because it has its um, value set as a modification timestamp, and you can't change it. In the, um, in the field definitions modification timestamp, when we go look at that modification timestamp, where are you? Here, look, when, you, when I go in here, look here, prohibit modification of value during data entry. So because that's set, we can consider it a kind of output field because you can never change it, yeah? So all of the output fields point up, that's nice. There's a modification timestamp, there's a creation timestamp, modify by primary key. Okay, you can see that really nicely. Um, the colors in this uh, um, diagram show, in the default um, rendering, it shows uh, so like the storage um, of, the, of the field. So the rather horrible orange is just a normal field. Uh, green is with an index and gray is an unstored calculation. Um, yeah, so arrows. Arrows downwards are calculations. Boxy things, uh, arrows upwards are like these output fields, like calculations initialize and don't change. They're also kind of like output fields. So that and that is similar. Um, uh, and then we've got like, we've got um, boxes. They're the normal input fields. And then we've got, um, trapezes and kind of like filter shapes, trapezes and filter shapes. A trapeze is like a half output in that it has an initialization, um, but not an auto enter filter function. If you've got an auto enter and replace existing value, then it's the other way up. So pointing more down. Um, and the whole idea is boxy things with or without a little bit of uh, triangle in them are, um, are input fields and the and the pointy things are uh, output fields. Okay, um, so that's that. There's another. There's another one I've done recently, which is um, uh, a little more helpful, and that is here. I can say um, um, show the type of type of node uh, with a color. So if I apply that, uh, we then get a little bit more visual clear stuff, either the green ones are the, are the calculations, the brown ones are these like output fields, the metadata output fields, the orange ones are the normal uh, input fields, oh, sorry, the yellow ones are the input fields, and this orange one is like a little uh, uh, initialized field. Okay, loads of information, really quick. Um, let's have a little look at something a little bit uh, more complicated. Um, I've got a very bad connection, so I can't get to my main databases with lots and lots of fields in them. So what I'm going to get now is, um, I think we'll do uh, FM Log Analyzer. FM Log Analyzer is my tool for um, uh, seeing if you've broken things when you paste things in. And you can see I broke a few things today as I was uh, working. Um, but let's have a look. How does this file work? Now, you've never seen it before. It's like, what have we got? We've got We've got, I don't know, uh, fields. We've got some fields. We've got lots of fields. I don't know. I've got no idea. How do they? Oops, I sorted them strangely. Let's just copy them. We copy them all. We copy them all. Um, we'll go back to uh, FM Checkmate. I've converted it to XML. Uh, we'll transform it. Uh, just press return because it's already highlighted. We'll create a new uh, dependency graph. 
we'll go into this little folder here and we've got some examples and we've got a uh, health truth fm log analyzer already stored we we'll do number two um and we'll import that again uh we will first of all apply our properties we're going to apply the default one of these days i'll get around to changing the default so that i think the node type is the color because i think it's to tell the truth better to see um and then we'll try a hierarchical look and we get oh oh god uh okay the hierarchical wasn't very good um let's try a different one let's do i call organic we do an organic um look oh wow okay wow interesting so we've got here um uh i don't know what's this field here if i click that uh we've got another view here somewhere we've got a structure view oh it rather ah ha, ha, ha. sorry that's why we've got such a strange thing here i <laughs> I've saved the graph ML XML file with a TGF format. So it's um uh I thought I hadn't seen this before. Sorry, that's that's just totally screwed up. Yeah, one second, please. <laughs> um I should have saved it with a graph ML uh ending, not with a TGF ending. That was graph ml, sorry. My fault for renaming it. Okay, now we can just double click that. Okay. We try again. Uh, we'll do a mapping to get nice default shapes. We will do the node type so that we, that's a field type, so that we can see that better. And we'll try again with hierarchical, see if it works top to bottom. Yeah, look at that. Really very nice. Let's put this properties things here away. Okay, so um, you've immediately got. Um, uh, a, a view of your fields let's we're just going to say we're not interested in these ones down here we're only interested in the um uh relationships let's take this little bunch here um here you can see um we have an input field object mm -hmm. okay and that goes into a calculation object array and that object array is split up into object one two and three okay yeah i saw something with one two and three what was that um fm log analyzer ah down here look that's that's object one that's object two and if i get that little window out there's object three here except this entry doesn't have an object three okay here yeah. so here you know we've got object one two three here um okay and from object three and an object type here okay object type seems to have a self-reference uh in the calculation because it's referencing itself and that goes into object type three down here we've got a section phase the section phase is this column here um when you uh, this this file imports the um log file that filemaker writes when you paste uh, things into um filemaker in the documents uh, folder the import log and as it passes it it um checks where are we in the process. And so here we're in section two, which is just the boring uh, title. In section three, it's uh, where the action happens. And section five is where it's completed. Section two, again, is a new import. Section three is uh, blah, 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 blah. So, so that's the sections. And the sections, um, uh, yeah, apparently they get written by script because they're not calculated from anything, but they go into the function which says, where is the start of the section? and they go into some sum fields some fields are shown as stars um with the meaning the more pointy it is the more uh heavy more calculations being done so a sum field is uh summing over hundreds of records a calculation field is probably only summing across one record or whatever so more pointy uh more heavy here we've got some um kind of like filter symbols you know upside down things uh uh, which is showing that's a, um, an auto enter filter function. You can see it here. That's a text. Um, a little x is a single index and a big x, I think here is a double index. So this is a text field with uh, both indexes on. 
and this is a text field with only one index on. So you go, you got loads of information here to help, and uh, yet provide some uh, really useful functions for um, for working your way around these diagrams. It's like if you've got a really big diagram, it's like uh, one of the, one of the first uses I had for this was we had a um, we had a um, a field which was somehow being triggered. It was like a filter field and it was being triggered and we couldn't work out why is this field being triggered? It shouldn't be triggered at all. And so what we had to do is we had to find out what are all the fields that feed into this field. And it's like, without knowing the database, no idea. Look, you, you've got to get through all this logic to find out what it is. But here I can just click on the field and um, uh, Yed has got some useful little uh, windows here, the predecessors. So here, that's all the predecessors of that field. And so in one click, I've got the answer. Ah, oh, look, object feeds into it. Oh, sorry, I didn't want to click on it. Go back, go back. Uh, and let's go to six. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Don't click on them, Russell. Sorry, select that one, predecessors, uh, maximize. Okay, so here, just from here, you can see, wow, those fields feed into that. This field here at the end, that shouldn't be there. That's the one that's causing it to um, trigger because this field gets set in process X, Y, Z, whatever. And so you've got a fantastic, um, you've got a fantastic, uh, uh, analysis Merkle, uh, possibilities here, slipping into German for a second. Um, yeah, um, and you can do other things. It's like sometimes when you um, when you have a complex thing, uh, let me have a look. Uh, let me take, a, I'll do a little analysis of FM Checkmate. I think that was quite complicated. Is that complicated? Here, just take this, copy all those fields convert to XML, command T to transform, return to do the same transform as before. Um, uh, stick it in here, uh, that's FM checkmate, FM checkmate. Okay, oh, oh yeah, okay. So here we see uh, in the structure view, that's, this is all of our nodes and the minute they've all got no value and that's because all of the information is in the data properties. So we need to do our properties mapper, um, uh, apply that. Uh, oh, we do the other one as well. Uh, but in properties mapper, color is node type, apply that. Layout hierarchical. What do you look like? Well, okay, not bad, not bad. But you can do other like you can do other layouts. It's like Sometimes you can get a lot of information if you do an organic layout. That just lays, sort of lays it out uh, wherever it wants. Uh, or you can do a circular layout um, like that. Oh, that's interesting. What's this field here? Yeah, and you can then click here and you can uh, zoom in on there and have a little bit of a local look at this collection to see what's this collection of fields. You see, ah, look here. That's the field clipboard text. And the field clipboard text is um, yeah, the, 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 the text that you had in your clipboard when you paste it to the, to the file. Yeah, um, that is basically, basically it. Um, you can do other things here as well. Uh, there's a few other um, property mappings that you can do. It's like you could say um, uh, here, uh, locked, locked, locked. No, not locked. Um, uh, border words day for here. Here I've got a, sort of like a bit of a calculation of the um, weight of a cal uh, calculation, and I apply that to the border, and then you see, oh, those ones are a bit heavy. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, the other thing, the other thing, the other thing. I mustn't forget that. Of course, the other thing that um, Yet has got is the export command. And you can do an export um, bump. That's really a uh, bitmap. Bitmap's a really, really wonderful file format. So we're going to say 
go away. We want one of those lovely things called SVG. Okay, with SVG, uh, you can say uh, FM Checkmate SVG. You can save that. Um, let's just check. Okay, okay. It's exporting the description as a tooltip. That's quite important, um, but it's in there by default. When I do that, then that has created uh, in our, yeah, okay. Look, here we've got an SVG, um, and I think I'm gonna open Chrome. I think Google Chrome uh, does a slightly better rendering, if I remember correctly. I should maybe leave a minute for talking, but we've got the whole evening. Um, okay. Uh, whoa, okay. Welsh? No, I don't want to translate to Welsh. I've got no idea why you appeared. Um, uh, I hope you're all there. I haven't heard anything the whole the whole thing. So uh, we've now got an SVG of this um, field uh, connections with, look at this. Oh, with information about the thing. And you've got the whole calculation in there. Uh, sometimes it goes off the bottom of the screen, so it's a bit hard to see. But how about that for information about your database? I think we'll leave it there. Thank you very much. Is anybody there? Hello. Beautiful, really beautiful. It's very good. Thank you. Yes. yes, Great yes, yes. stuff. Um, we'll have to invite you to our stammtisch, you know. Um, what we need to do is to get the get my website working again, or get me another um, website uh, host so I can put my stuff somewhere else where it works. Um, and we need to find me the time uh, or create the time for me in some nice way that I can get around to finish these last bits and getting them onto GitHub. I want to get all of my tools onto GitHub open source. Um, that will be happening when I find a moment. Um, but for the moment, um, inspiration. Today is inspiration day. We've had this morning inspiration with uh, Mermaid. Now we've had inspiration with Yed and um, FM Checkmate and uh, stuff like this. I'll show you, I'll show you one thing. Uh, Oh, can I show you one thing? No, no, I can't show you one thing because I don't think I've, I've saved it. It's buried somewhere in my emails. Um, uh, my colleague who does our um, website, um, uh, website stuff, which uh, interacts with uh, our Advanta, um, had to uh, kind of like reproduce a calculation uh, out of our FileMaker database. And it was just huge. I have never seen such a massive um, calculation. It was it was like a cloud. It was like a cloud of um, uh, of calculation fields. It works, but it was huge. And uh, before I showed him this, um, all he had to go on was like the list, the field list. And then I said, oh, you know, hold on one second, copy, convert, ping. That is what you're doing. And he said, what? <laughs> <laughs> so it really can help, really can give you uh, information. The, um, there is, a, okay, what well, I also forgot, um, in YED there are um, uh, various tools like select elements. So you can also um, say, you know, select all nodes, uh, degree, in degree, here we go. Select all nodes with an in degree, hello, of... No, what? Degree? In degree? Something's going wrong here. I should be able to enter a value. You need yeah, to minimal degree minimal and maximal. maximal degree. Minimal degree, maximal degree. Um, if I say maximal degree of zero, that means, um, hold on, clear the selection first. So the one that's selected is going to be unselected, and then it's going to find all... Um, elements that have no input, okay? Yeah, look at that. So this one that's under my cursor here uh, has two outputs. It goes into two other fields, but itself it has no inputs. Now I can just press delete, go away. And now I've got all the fields which have something going into them, yeah? Um, or, yeah, uh, or, or, or 
what else can we do? There was, there was another thing I found the other day, centrality measures. General centrality measures, result, presentation, kind of what's it? Whoa, yeah, okay, there we go. Wow. Uh, I only found this the other day. Uh, the the um, centrality measures um, calculates how central is one of these nodes um, based on how many um, uh, inputs it's got coming into it. Um, and I think if we have a look in the organic layouting, is there a, no, come on, let's just do it. Let's just see what it, see what it does there. Well, it's like, wow, immediately, uh, immediately with this extra thing, <laughs> with this centrality measures, you see, oh, that guy is important. What is it? Oh, well, look at that. It's the XML field. Of course, FM Checkmate is about processing this XML. So, of course, the XML field is at the center of your um, database. And this one is the clipboard text. That's the uh, field, I think, uh, here. When you, yeah, this clipboard text is used in uh, for converting text to XML and this and that or the other. So, it's like, wow, isn't that fantastic? So, with FM Workmate, with FM Checkmate XSLT, um, with uh, yet, all of it is free. With uh, these, with these files here, which which are in fact, I don't know if anybody's got FM Checkmate, but if you've got it, um, the FM Checkmate, um, uh, the FM Checkmate library is in your documents folder, and in there you've got. Um, uh, here are all the XSLT functions for processing FM XML snippets. Uh, uh, they're all in there. There's, there's quite a lot of them. Um, but in the XML folder, in the XML folder, there's a, there's a YED folder. Um, a little bit read me about, uh, about the YED folder. And then we've got FM field dependency, dependency graph. And in here, this here is this property file which you can um, uh, import using this one here. And then you can go and find it and import it and it will uh, create these. I think it's one version or two versions older than what I've got here. Um, but basically it's there. FM Checkmate XSLT. Um, so I should maybe say for those who don't know, FM Workmate. Oh, this is the really embarrassing bit, fmworkmate.com. Oh, my God, that's even more embarrassing than it was last week. <laughs> okay, my, uh, what, that's gone? Where's, where's my website gone? Try mrwatson.de. Okay, I think I need to speak to my um, uh, web page hoster. Um, good. Uh, FM... Checkmate XSLT is on GitHub uh, and the rest will be on GitHub at some time extremely soon because I think I have to dump my website if it exists at all anymore. Mm -hmm.